OK, well, here's a problem. It's you can capture 300 guys. Maybe you can bring them back to London and put them on trial for treason and hang some of them. Right? What, 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 do you, what, what, what do you do when you capture 3,000? And that's exactly what the British will do in the fall of 1776 in New York. Uh, what are they going to do with these uh, prisoners? They can't negotiate for their release, because that would be legitimizing the Americans. Right? Can't do that. Uh, nor can we send them all back to London. Uh, that will just bog down our courts uh, forever. Uh, so what are we going to do? It's Guantanamo Bay, 1776. All right? We're going to hold them indefinitely. The uh, uh, problem is the British occupied New York City. New York City has burned. Right? It's a sort of uh, ruin of a city. Where is General Howe going to put these prisoners uh, but on troop transport ships? Uh, the, probably the most famous of these is the uh, Jersey. Uh, Jersey is actually only used as a prison ship later in the war, not, not at first. Uh, but nonetheless, the conditions on these prison ships where these American soldiers uh, are going to be held, and, and the Jersey primarily holds sailors, uh, are going to be atrocious, right? You can imagine the, th the filth and the disease that's going to run rampant when you put thousands of people on a ship uh, like that moored um, in the Brooklyn uh, Harbor. Uh, and so consequently, fatalities are going to mount really quickly. That first winter of, of 76, 77 uh, is, is really, really um, uh, deadly for the uh, uh, Americans. Uh, historians estimate that somewhere between 12 and 18,000 American service personnel died in British custody during the eight years of the Revolutionary War. 